And now, your local on the 8th. At least seen a fairly clear picture there for the last few hours, but you see at least uh, a good six, seven hours for at least a few of these cities to be under the gun with some of the heavier snowfall. What we're left with at this point is that system is well out of here, just kind of still grazing just the easternmost reaches of Maine. Beyond that, any snow that's hanging back across western or even central New York, central Pennsylvania, all of this now is kind of what's left the backside of it. You're really dealing with the lake effect uh, influence there. So at least a few areas still picking up some, say, half inch per hour snow across the 90 if you're traveling in and around the Buffalo area. South towns, uh, some areas that are, you know, certainly well versed in lake effect. Not a major lake effect system, but at least enough to cause some issues. And we see some of the other snow on the backside of it. We'll talk more about this coming up, but maybe a one to three inch snowfall. Not that bad compared to what we just dealt with. Vivian? Well, of course, today on the Weather Channel and on our homepage, weather.com, we're counting down the top five coldest cities in America. Now, rounding out the top five, or top of the list, is Barrow, Alaska. And storm tracker Jim Cantori has a firsthand look at why this city was our number one pick. When I moved here, it was like 10 below, and I told a friend of mine, it's cold. He said, oh, Jerry, it's not cold yet. This is nice. Some joke about it, but the cold in Barrow is no laughing matter. After all, this is a place that once got down to minus 56 degrees. It's a dangerous cold that you can't take lightly. Nature is very unforgiving, and there's not too many.